Hello, people of the internet. Welcome to the special report, your news and views program about geek gaming culture on the internet. Coming up in the show today, a Gorymon fan translator seemingly quits doing fan translations and most other things after some backlash over one of the fan translations to Gorymon, Legend of the Mystic Ninja, and how one word has sparked all of the backlash. We're going to talk about the historical ramifications of such things and the fallout from from what all took place, including calling out certain people who seemingly did not care about how history is to repeat itself if you forget about it. My name is Shady Shadow and the special report will start right about now. You might have heard about a fan translation group called DDS Translations. They were the ones that were working on a Goemon 2 in 3 fan translation for the Super Famicom system and it had recently came out and everybody was really thankful about it. A lot of people were. That is until somebody caught a particular point in the game that is getting one of the people who worked on the translation a bunch of dogpiling and we're gonna get to what that all led to. First of all, let's get to the actual offending image that some people have seen that went viral and you can see it on the screen right there. Kimiko says, I'm actually a, and then you obviously see the word right there. Should I tell my boyfriend the truth? And the actual word for this, the actual word that they translated into this is called new half. Now there have been some debate as to whether or not you could translate new half into this particular word that is especially offensive to some transsexuals. I do say some because there are some transsexuals and transgender people who do not mind words like this. They do not mind people using these words because not all transgender people are made alike. Some people are not as offended of words than other people are and no two people are going to be offended by the exact same thing. We need to be aware of that. But according to some people, yes, new half is a offensive term that Japanese people came up with to describe people that were half male, half female. And you can definitely see where the translators were going with in that frame of mind. However, that did not stop a few people from dogpiling him and guess what forum decided they wanted to join in on this yeah we're gonna get into reset era because they have something to say about this because of course they would the whole thing start when somebody by the name of hardcore gaming 101 said tw transphobia is it too much to ask for right wing fan translators to not stick slurs into their work now keep in mind that this is not the only person that talked about this whole topic. There were a few other people and I'm only knowledgeable about the ones that were on Twitter. Apparently this guy was really getting dot piled and really getting put through the ringer about this. He was really getting put on blast about this. So there's obviously got to be more than just that. And of course, if Risa Era joined in on this, then you can no doubt tell that, yes, he probably was getting dolp out because we all know how Risa Era works. They don't care. And I'll get to why I say that here in a minute. But someone else decided to join in on the fun. This guy goes by the name of SNES Central. And it's his tweets that probably started this whole entire thing that probably got everything viral, saying one of the benefits of doing a fan translation 2020 is the possibility to remove discriminatory language that while still wrong then was in common use three decades ago. It is a shame that the authors of this hack decided to mar their hard work by using a slur. Keep in mind that a fan translation is not in of itself a hack. And here's the other thing that this guy did that absolutely blew everything open. It's him admitting that discriminatory language was within the game. That this was something that might have been correctly translated. And might have taken out any doubt that this person just inserted it in order to provide their own mindset or their own opinions about transgender people. This was something that might have been there from the beginning. Remember, this was a translation of new half which is if you put it into the game as is if you put it into the translation as is then guess what no one's gonna know what the hell you're even talking about what the hell is a new half people who are 
playing the game is not are not going to figure out what the hell that means. It's also important to note that the very same person, SNES Central, has also said something about the Manji symbol that is apparent in the game, saying that the Nazis had perverted the symbol to the point where they should remove it from the game. We're getting that a very popular game does have the Manji symbol, that very symbol, as a layout for the third dungeon in the game. That being the Legend of Zelda on the NES. It has it as the layout for level 3, the one where you first face the Zoles and the Dark Nuts, and you get the raft to go to level 4 in the first quest of the game. It is pretty clear that it is that symbol. And that is another story for another time, but it's important to note that the guy wants the removal of the Manjis from the fan translation of the game, when it is quite apparent that that is not the only game that he would find that in, and it is kind of hypocritical that you would criticize one person, a fan translator, and not a entire company for that purpose. It is quite obvious here that someone is educated well beyond their intelligence. But yeah, reset era, you can no doubt see the images I'm putting up on the screen right now of that thread in particular. Now, there are a few rare good things about this in that they did not like the doll piling that led to what we're about to talk about about his response because he was kind of open to the whole idea of changing it once he heard that, okay, maybe this was a little bit offensive to transgender people, but again, we gotta talk a lot about the nuance that is here because there was a lot here. And Reset Error, if you have not seen my channel before, is one that I do not have very good things to say about them at all. These are the people who dox the CD Projekt Red employee because of some opinion that they held. They were condoning the actions of Tucker Carlson when he was getting his home invaded or his yard invaded by those people who were picketing his house and they have been acting as some sort of advocacy group which they shouldn't be. Remember, these are the people who think they represent the entirety of the video game public because they seem to want to ban anybody who has a different opinion when it comes to these issues. They have no idea how to rightfully talk about these issues in a way that represents all avenues and all perspectives about these issues. It is if you don't agree with us, you are a homophobic, you are a transphobic, and the list goes on and on and on. And they know that there's nuance, they don't care about it. Because if you have seen some of these messages are on these forms or on that forum you will no doubt see that they do realize that there is that different mindset that this is a take of whether or not this is a accurate representation of what people thought at that point in time and yeah I'll get to that in just a moment but all of this doll piling and all of this stuff going on and directed at him had led to him posting this and he said quote my apologies to everyone I needed some time to mull over this mess I want to clarify that whatever scripts I translated don't reflect who I am or what I believe people are calling me a far-right extremist now me these people know nothing about me and the word that set off this whole mess I didn't even know anybody considered it completely off limits I thought it was just a silly abbreviation a slightly taboo word, something only a bit edgy, but well within the realm of a reasonable translation of the original Japanese line. Yes, the original Japanese line in the game is insensitive, but please don't think that having translated it in, in an insensitive way means that I'm somehow a hateful person because I am not. It crushed me to see the fallout of this. Anybody who has followed me for any amount of time knows I wear my heart on my sleeve. I love all people and every single living thing on this planet and I care about the games too. I started working on fan translations because I care. I just wanted to share these experiences with people. Seeing how all of this has turned out, it's really crushed me. If one single word that I didn't even know was so inexcusable caused this sort of uproar, what other words are off limits without my knowing? To be honest, the very thought terrifies me. 
This whole thing has crushed my passion for translating video games and even simply running in general. I can't continue with it. Now, this is a very heartfelt explanation and really it's sad to see that this has caused that effect. But don't think that him saying this had quelled anything because some of the people on Reset Era are still saying that, hey, this is a half-hearted apology or no, he's not going to change it, or hey, he was hard to talk to about the subject. And that is the mindset of SNES Central as well, but in a different way, because he doesn't seem to understand what the debate even is. He's not even acknowledging in his Twitter feed what that debate even is about. Because here's the thing, the majority of people who are talking about this and who are siding with the translator here are not saying necessarily that the word isn't offensive. To some people it is, and to some people it is completely offensive. Now, as I said, there are some people who don't mind that. And you can't really judge them for that. You can't really judge one way or the other how people are going to feel about a particular thing. Especially now, we have to be careful about that sort of thing. We need to be careful, first of all, about the words we use, but also whether or not a person is actually going to be offended by something. You can't just assume somebody is going to be offended or isn't going to be offended because you never know. In this day and age, it's like walking on eggshells. What are we actually supposed to do in that situation? Some transgender people are not offended by that word, but some people are completely offended by that word. And I do believe him that he he didn't think that it would be offensive. But here's the other thing we have to consider, and this is the one thing that I don't think Risa Era cared about, or the people who are talking about this and are completely against the translator here cared about, which is when these games were first created. And that's going to make a lot of people angry with me saying this because, again, there are people who don't care about that, who don't want to hear it. They don't want to consider it. But is that important to consider it? The reason why they don't want to consider it is because it blows their explanation of why they want to be so offended out of the water. No, at no point in time should words that are deemed offensive or mindsets that are deemed offensive were okay back in the day. But we didn't think about those in that sort of way that we do now. We didn't consider those things that we do now. But at the same time, we don't want to scrub history. We don't want to scrub the bad history. We don't want to forget that these sort of prejudices did exist back then that these sort of things were a product of our time because if we forget that these prejudices did exist what's going to eventually happen that we're going to make the same mistakes again that's why when you see one of the the censored 11 and the warner brothers short cartoon shorts back in the day you do see that disclaimer saying that hey these are presented as is like they were back in the day we do not hold these thoughts now however we decided that to scrub the history clean is to forget that these prejudices did exist and on the Disney Plus service, you also see the disclaimer that, that some of those cartoons like Steamboat Willie do have outdated cultural context and are not reflective of society at large today. However, it is important that we do remember that these prejudices did exist by preserving the original content. That way we remember how they were back then because they were still enjoyable despite the fact that, hey, they might offend some people from today to see see that yeah we did hold those prejudices back then and they were kind of allowed back then because a lot of people did think like that back then and it's kind of interesting to see how far we've come at that point to see that hey we didn't think that you guys were good back in the day but look how far we've come since then look how different we are now from where we were at that point in time so why then are we saying you have to scrub clean all of this stuff if you're going to go with this with the Gorymon games then you have to go back with the Disney Plus Plus or Warner Brothers and say you have to take all of those cartoons, all of those old things that depicted African Americans of buffoons and stuff like that, you have to completely erase those from your library. We're still waiting for Disney Plus to finally release Song of the South, one that I don't think is actually that bad. I don't think it's as offensive as everybody claimed to be. Maybe it didn't do what it was set out to do as far as entertainment is concerned, but I've seen clips of that in it looks really tame but that's another discussion for another time 
time. The fact of the matter is that even though it may offend you, keep in mind that yes, this is something that was made back in that sort of time frame when those prejudices were actually widespread and it wasn't something that was as celebrated as it is now. And also again, keep in mind that word is not offensive to every single transgender person. I understand how it would be offensive to some transgender people, but there are some people who don't mind the word being used. But no matter what you feel about that word, no matter how you feel about that whole one by one thing or whatever you want to call it, the fact that this person was dogpiled and the fact that the people who were dogpiling them didn't exactly care about that debate being put forth is deplorable. That's the part of this that is absolutely reprehensible is the notion that throughout all of this, the person was not given the opportunity to one, either fix a mistake that was never a mistake to begin with and two to explain his case to explain why he felt as though he didn't really have to change it and he shouldn't have to change it the people that were doll piling him didn't even want to discuss that it could have been a product of the times or it was a 1v1 translation because here's the thing no matter what you think about it the translators are not the police when it comes to this they shouldn't be seen as to be the ones to scrub clean the history books or to scrub clean things that hey i'm offended by this you have to change it they're not the people who are supposed to be responsible for that sort of thing they're not the ones that should be told to do that that's not their job their job is to translate, not to change things that fit your ideology or to fix things just because you might be offended of something that happened 20 years ago. That's not what their job is. We should not be the morality police here. This is not what they're supposed to be doing. And if something has an offensive word to it, then too bad. That is just what comes down. You don't blame it on the person who's translating it. Blame it on the person who made the game, which in this case is Konami. This has nothing to do with right versus left wing politics. Although every time we see this sort of thing come out is always the far left people on Twitter that seem to want to come in and completely strip any nuance on that side and then the alt-right people seem to want to come in and strip any nuance on that side and then you have the people in the middle saying what the hell calm down for two seconds and listen to what people are saying because why is it that we're getting completely ignored why is any moderate viewpoint getting completely ignored because we're getting drowned out by these extreme viewpoints and everything that i just said before is accurate is what we're saying we're not saying that we should look to offend people just for the sake of offending people we're not saying that no one's saying that who's the person that's saying that because i would love to meet these people so i could put some sense into them but please direct me to the person who's doing that because i haven't met them yet in this whole conversation no one's doing that what they are saying is that yes these are products of the times that's what they're saying that's the whole viewpoint that is the entire argument and instead, they're confusing the argument as, oh, this guy didn't want to change it. He wanted to continue to offend people or whatever else you want to use in that frame of mind. And at that point, I do have to say that you are part of the problem at that point. Because the guy is trying his best in order to appease a group of people who don't care. That's the whole thing. We could say this stuff about the translation in the product of our times or whatever until we turn blue in the face. These are people who are making a living off of being offended and they are taking advantage of people who might actually be offended by these sort of things in order to gain a quick buck off of it. These are the bad faith actors and then they turn around and they call the people who find some kind of nuance in all of this where they're saying that well yeah it might be offensive we gotta realize that it's sort of the same thing that cartoons like Steamboat Willie were back in the day product of their times that they are the bad faith actors or people like Joe Rogan are the bad faith actors and people like Total Biscuit were the bad faith actors oh my good lord it's almost two years to the day that he passed and he would have a field day over this sort of stuff going on it seems like his passing gave people the pass to be worse than they were beforehand about this sort of stuff like like hey he's dead finally we can be as offended as we want and not have to worry about somebody calling us out well dude you're the person that needs to be called out we need to have a discussion about this sort of stuff if we already had the discussion, let's have an additional discussion about the distinction here. Yes, some people think that the word 
is offensive, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to go all up in arms over it. Being used in a game which was made during a point of time where while it wasn't okay to use those terms to somebody who would be offended about those terms, it was more widespread to the point where people could say that there is a general misconception about transgender people. And to the point we still have a misconception about those types of things. And we need to have a lot of discussions about those sort of issues that pertain to the LGBTQ community. But these are the people who you don't want on your side. The people who are from Reset Era. Or people who you don't want on your side. They've been exposed as not actually holding those viewpoints. If you remember the whole Discord leak that happened. These are the types of people who are going to leaps and bounds in order to protect their viewpoints. Which is far, far from the normality of what the left-wing people or the progressive people think. There are progressive people who hate Reset Era for this reason. That they don't let anybody else poke into their little echo chamber. Sort of like what the Republicans are doing right now with the Trump impeachment trial right at the moment. They're doing the exact same thing right in the moment. Do you really want to be like those Republicans right in the moment? If you don't want to be like those people, you might want to look at the nuance here, for starters. And stop dogpiling on this one one person just because he might have a different take on what is going on than you do and if that's the case maybe you should do something that you haven't really done for the past what five years now to shut up for five minutes and listen to them maybe you might learn something maybe you might learn that hey these people are not racist they're not transphobic they're not homophobic but they have a reason why they believe that some things are not as offensive as you thought they were. Or that they're not as offensive as you think they might be to you. Why they might not be offended. But you need to stop talking all the time. You need to stop. Just listen to these people. Maybe there are some people on the more moderate left who might think that you're making it into too big of a deal. About these sort of things. They're not saying that every single topic has been dealt with the same way. But these sort of issues that you make a mountain out of molehill about, it's not really that big of a deal. And if we erase these types of things, if we try to find these things and erase everything to where we are forgetting that these sort of prejudices did exist at some point in time, we are doomed to repeat it. Those that forget our history are doomed to repeat the history. And we'll go back to those types of mindsets. So you have to be careful when you're saying censor, censor everything that I might be offended at. Because maybe the reason why you're offended is the reason why we are offended now. And you need to stop thinking that translators are the people that can clean this up. It's not their job to do that. And for this person who is the person that was victimized by this harassment and this vitriol that came about because he thought that he was doing the right thing here, I hope that he hears this and I hope that he or she, I don't know the gender, I apologize if I'm misgendering there, but I hope they find the means and the wherewithal to come back because that will not only show that he still has the inspiration to continue on something that he's actually really good at doing. Let's not kid ourselves, he's really good. These were well received fan translations, but it will show that these types of people will not break you. There's a difference between progressive people and radical extremism, and this got to that point. And they don't see it, and they don't care to see it. It's like the hard right right now. They don't care to see their utter worshipping of Trump being an issue. They don't care to see it. They don't want to see it. The same group of people on the left wing don't want to see that they're causing the problem. They don't think they're part of the problem. And him coming back and continuing what he is having the passion to do, or had the passion to do, will show a lot about the types of people that we are dealing with. Let's not bow to reset error. And please, please, let's stop listening to reset error you people who are quote, quote verified to reset error why are you not calling this out why are you sharing these viewpoints go and look at other points of view maybe you might be a little bit surprised about what we actually believe in and what other people 
might believe in. We might be on your side on most issues here. Try to like entertain the notion that maybe we're on your side on a lot of these issues and it's stuff like this that makes us become more divided. We don't need that sort of thing. Let's get less divided about this stuff and let's stop complaining about this sort of thing because what happened here was absolutely deplorable on all sorts of levels. That's gonna do it for this edition of the Special Report. As always, thank you so very much for watching. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't just give me a thumbs up just because you disagree with the opinion. What you should do is leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought about this story or what you think is going on there. And also, please subscribe for more Geek Gaming Culture if you like what you see, if you really like what you see here, regardless of whether or not you agreed. And also, ring the bell to be notified about the latest content. Before I go, I would like to give you the OC Remix track of the day because that's why we do it here and because one person who probably would call this out big time is the late total biscuit like i said it's almost been two years since he passed wow we really 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 miss a voice like him and i've been playing all the oc remix tracks that he used on his shows and we're up to the fifth one that he used on his sailbox videos which is killer instincts enhanced and this is more of a techno rock version of the title track of killer instinct the original one in the arcades not the new one that's on xbox right now and yeah i think i like this one i think i did enjoy this a great deal as i do with a lot of the OC Remix tracks that I have posted so far. I hope you do like it as well. I hope they don't mind me doing this because, hey, why not continue the legacy that he did through doing this? Until next time, stay safe and be advised for more content down the road. My name is JD Shadow and that just happened.